Lulu, one-year-old, all about floats. As we watch these clips of baby Lulu at just 12 months, I want parents and teachers to understand the importance of free floating. Free floating is the building block of all learn to swim. Floating builds confidence. Eventually, the baby becomes so confident of their ability in the water that they start self-submersions. The confidence that comes from self-submersions gives the infant or child the courage to attempt many new skills as they explore the watery environment, searching for ways to propel themselves through the water. The more opportunity the baby has to float and explore, both deep and shallow water, the more confident they will become and, as a result, more mobile in the water. In this exploratory process, little slips are to be expected. These are part of the learning process and parents or teachers should be close by to assist where necessary. How the parent or teacher reacts to these little mishaps will determine how relaxed the children or the baby remains when they're in and around water. The more relaxed the parent or teacher, the more a child will associate these little slip-ups as part and parcel of the learning process. They'll be comforted and move on easily and progress rapidly. Parents or guardians when doing assisted swims, must remember to hold the child very, very softly as they feel the water floating them up. This will give the baby the opportunity to start little voluntary arm and leg movements, the start of the propulsive process. When encouraging a child to pull themselves up from deep water to shallows, make sure you remain close by and as relaxed as possible. Any hurried or jerky actions where you grab the child as they slip and go under will have a detrimental effect and slow down the learning process. The parent, by their relaxed manner and being available to assist the child gently, wherever possible, will encourage what I called great exploratory floats where the child pushes off the parent and experiences that free floating sensation. For this to happen, the child needs to have complete trust in the parent or teacher and love the sensation of free floating and being guided gently back to the safety of mum's t-shirt or the side of the pool. If done regularly, shallow to deep water or if regularly floated to deep and shallow water they will learn very quickly the difference between deep water and shallow water and at every opportunity they will move quickly to the shallows where, where they are able to carry out independent exploration. Independent exploration of course speeds up the learning process.